Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Virgos. So this is going to be your daily reading, Virgos, for your general energies and also for your love energies, Virgos. So let's see what's coming up for your general energies first, guys, Virgos. Before we move on to your love energies, what is coming up for your general energies, Virgos? We have the blessing such a good card to start with and we have the rainbow so you're just going to be fulfilled today you're going to be really happy we have the river the movement so there's some kind of a movement happening in your life you're not in that very stagnant energy which again is very a nice energy and we have the generation oh my god guys i'm really sorry and we have the ancestors my cards just fell guys wait a minute okay so what i'm getting here is that guys you are really focused today you know what you have to do and you're going towards life in a very positive way you're having a very positive mindset while going towards life is all i'm getting here guys very positive and you know that you need to accomplish certain things and you need you know that you need to get things right and you're going towards your life in a very very positive and a very fulfilled way guys that is the energy that i'm getting here with a movement there's some kind of a movement always in your connection or in this uh, environment that you're in there's no stagnant energy in the sense like you're not um, sitting in the one place for so long you're just what to say you're having that movement your thoughts your actions you're just kind of working towards something uh, continuously you're doing something or the other continuously you don't have a blank mindset that's what i mean when i say there's a movement so again with a blessing i see here that someone really like feels like you're blessed or something like that so you're blessed by the universe or something like that. i see here for most of you are everyone is blessed but i see here that today you're going to be blessed by your actions by the way that you are behaving so if you're really nice you're going to be blessed guys okay again what i'm getting here is that you're going to be connected with the people that you love and you like to dream a lot you like to be with in this enthusiastic energy you like to like kind of share all these beautiful memories with the people and i see you that you're very nice and cheerful and sharing whatever you have to being in that nice environment where people love you for who you are what you are and you love everyone for who they are what they are and in that very nice and blissful energy okay so that's why we have the rainbow and the blessing and you feel like this is a blessing or yes definitely this is a blessing and that's how you feel about this energy is what i'm getting here okay so with the ancestors um i see that your ancestors your spirit guides might be like uh giving you this blessing from a far distance i see here and you cannot recognize that you feel you don't know how to like you you maybe like feel that people are blessing you for whatever it is but you don't actually know what to do okay so that is what i am getting here guys so let's see what's coming up for your general energies for your love energies now guys okay for your love energies guys
we have the lilies. We have the house. Have the whisk. We have the birds and we have the stork. So with these cards guys. What I'm getting here generally for you Virgos is that this person wants you for themselves. They're, they don't want to share you with anyone else or they don't want to like, what to say guys. This person is feeling a little bit possessive on you and they're kind of scared that you'll leave them and go to someone else. So they kind of like want you for themselves. Obviously they, they won't be ready to share you and all of that. But I see how this person is like extra possessive on you guys. For most of you, I think you felt this on this person they they were so much they were so poss possessive on you and this might even irritate you but i see her that this person is possessive on you for a reason because i see her that everybody kind of like wants you kind of wants this union with you and this person wants this union with you also so that is again another major energy that i'm getting here okay With these dogs, with the bird, with the wisps, uh, you will know what I see here for most of you. You and this person are connected on a telepathic, or like you have, you share a very telepathic connection. So I see here that you and this person are connected on a telepathic level. So if you like want to talk to this person or something, they will kind of like if you miss them, they will understand your energy. If you want them, they will understand your energy. So that is what I'm getting here, guys. This person understands you on a telepathic level and they will do whatever they have to to manifest you into a physical reality and they're ready to do whatever they have to to kind of have you in their life guys that is again another major energy that i'm getting here but before this this person is very very possessive on you they kind of like want you in their life otherwise they will feel bad so they're kind of compelling themselves to love you is also what i'm getting here okay So this is what I'm uh, getting here for you guys, my lovely Capricorn. So this person, I mean my lovely Virgos, this person really wants you for themselves. They have a lot of responsibilities they need to deal with and with all these responsibilities it can be hard for this person to kind of express their emotions to you but I think this person will express their emotions when they are supposed to express, okay? So, bye guys. See you all tomorrow. This is all I'm getting here for you guys. Bye guys.